Hello, Itza with Itza Thoughts, and I'm here to share with you guys um, a project that I've created uh, as a submission to a design team call for Elegant Embellishments. Um, I will tell you a little bit about myself first. I have been crafting for the, um, <laughs> about 15 years, um, and I consider myself a mixed media crafter. I like to craft um, just about on um, everything and anything I can get my hands on. I have dabbled um, in all kinds of uh, different types of crafts. Um, I originally started with uh, making jewelry and as you can see I really try to incorporate um, my jewelry and beading techniques onto my my projects it doesn't matter what type of project it is I always find myself reaching out for the beads just um, to give it a complete look and um, I also like uh, recycling and altering items um, I have recently created some bird houses um, and fairy houses out of recycled cardboard boxes and um, I like working with chipboard and cardboard and stuff like that so my projects a lot of the time are going to reflect um, those elements. Uh, without further ado, I would like to share with you my project. Uh, this is a ribbon book and um, it is created out of chipboard, and, um, duct tape, and decorative paper. Um, and it is about eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches and it is four inches wide um, as you can see here this is a uh, cameo that I mounted on top of uh, five different types of metal embellishments I incorporated some flat back pearls here I also added some paints and uh, glitters to the cameo to pop her out a little bit more and uh, to give her a metallic look. I incorporated my beads here. Uh, these are some crystals and some pearl beads that I strung on it. I incorporated metal uh, embellishments throughout the outside of the book. This is a handmade flower made out of fabric and a couple layers of stiffening um, liquid and they were colored with some color sprays. I added a vintage button here. I incorporated some of the metal embellishments in the flower arrangements also just to bring it all in. Some skeleton leaves with paper flowers and ribbon flowers. Um, <clears throat> some more of those flat back pearls here. Uh, a little stick pin. The sides in the back of the book are relatively basic. Um, I just added the metal embellishments to it. I really like the look and feel of the paper line. I didn't really want to take um, much away from it. I would call this a Victorian uh, steampunk type of look. Here you can see uh, this is the bottom of my ribbon book and here you can see all the ribbons and laces that I have incorporated into the book. I added some lace here. The closure is a metallic snap button. Here you can see some more of the beautiful um, design paper. I put duct tape um, around all the folding parts and all the um, binding and stuff like that were created with the duct tape. And here you can see I put a little area here. I left enough space in my book so that I can uh, put my scissors and have my scissors um, go with me wherever I go, wherever this book is. Um, I, I'm sure to have scissors 
readily available whenever I want to pop them out and cut a piece of lace or ribbon from the book and it is held um, by this ribbon here again I incorporated a metal embellishment with the flat pack pearl here and This part was created with some vinyl and then I incorporated some more of the lace from the front in here. And the vinyl is very tight at the bottom so whenever I put my scissors in there they are snug. So my scissors won't be falling out or anything like that. It's nice and snug. Incorporated some more of those beautiful paper roses. And as far as the inside of the book, um, I really, really love this paper line. And I didn't really want to cover much of it up because it's so beautiful. And I um, really like the look and the feel of it. It's glittery. So these are the ribbon spools inside my book. As you can see, I have already um, started putting my ribbons and trims and laces in here. And the ribbon spools are also made out of chipboard and covered with um, some more of that beautiful um, decorative paper. Well, this is my submission. I thank you for your time and consideration. And um, fingers crossed and happy crafting.